So everyone, welcome back. You join us, us being me and Stephen, Maddie Man. We are at Hove today, um, down next to Brighton Beach. Uh, as you can see, we've got a good old swell. A really good swell, good four or five foot, maybe more. Um, what are we fishing for? If I'm fishing on the south coast, I'm always fishing for place. Now, today that is looking very, very, very unlikely. And we knew it would be. Yesterday there was, I think, gusting 45 mile an hour southwesterly winds, which would have been absolutely smashing this beach to pieces, which is why there's still a big swell here. The water's filthy dirty. Conditions for place are, are far from ideal. They're, they're nowhere near, absolutely nowhere near. So if I'm honest, we're not, we don't actually know what we're expecting. But I was down here, I had to be down here today anyway to pick up scrap for this evening, this afternoon. So, um, I, I thought, well, I'm going to go fishing as well. I had a couple of score lug on order for Medway Tackle Supplies. Um, so, I already had them. Steve had a bit of bait and was up for it. So, well, here we are. I'm just going to fish with two loop rigs. I'm going to fish as if I was fishing for place. Scratching rigs, basically. Um, but I will be happy to see dabs, possibly flounders. Um, oh, I'm not going to be happy to see dogfish and whiting, but I would imagine with this colour of this water, there probably will be whiting about. Probably will be dogfish about. Um, I mean, they do get some nice fish off this beach. They get, they get rays and they get congers and all sorts. It's not the right time of year. Again, the weather conditions are not right for rays either because they like pretty flat, calm weather. Uh, water. That doesn't necessarily mean they have to be clear, but they like it. They like it a bit better than this. Um, so it, it, today's a bit of a hit and hope, if you like. Um, we're just going to fish the way we always do and see what happens. We, there's no reason, there's nothing to say, it's a, I'm definitely, definitely not going to catch a place. If they're a place in the area and they're hungry, they're going to take the bait. But we will see, we will see. Also, the tide, we're fishing the totally wrong time of the tide as well. It's now ebbing, so we're going to be fishing it all, pretty much all the way down and then over low. So that's against us as well. Normally, for when I'm place fishing, I'll be fishing a flooding tide, sort of an hour and a half after low water, up and maybe down one hour. So it's all against us, to be fair today, but we're out just wetting, wetting a line. So that's the plan. So I've got some, got some nice lug from Medway Tackle Supplies, got my loop rig, Steve's got lug as well. I think he said he's got about half a score of blacks, fresh blacks as well, so I'll probably nick a couple of them off him later. Um, and, and yeah, and just and just go from there. I think today is going to be one of them honest fishing days where whatever happens happens. Um, and if if you see if you see me putting white on the video, you know it's been a bad day. So yeah, look out for some white end guys. In a bit. Oh dear. Steve's just wielded a double shot of whiting. Whose idea was this? Well. Well, we've got a few hours to kill. We've, we've got a few hours to kill yet, mate, so um, just keep scratching away. That's first chuck. Oh, is it? And I'm scratching away just like you. Oh, uh, dear. About 100 yards less distance. I've done about 100 <laughs> yards. I haven't even looked at my rod. I'm sitting here booking a Valentine's Day present for the missus. Well done. Yeah. Um, yeah. Double shot of whiting. In the daytime. Yeah. Dirty water. It's you, innit? To be well, fair, it's not, it's me, but to be yeah, fair guys, what did I say on the video about 10 minutes ago before we just first started? I sort of predicted that. I'm just going to reel in a place in a bit. Guess what everyone, somebody tried hiding their phone. <laughs> Guess who found it? <laughs> My one's smaller than your one. <laughs> That's what she That's said. <laughs> oh my. Um, I reckon that's about as it's good as it's going to get today. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. You're hopeful? Hopeful. We've got to stay hopeful after that first chuck. Yeah, I was going to set up two rods, but I might just stick with one. <laughs> I was just about to ask you not fishing two rods, and no, then I reeled them in, and I knew, I knew that definitely weren't going to happen. I don't think I need to. <laughs> Walk of shame. <laughs> We'll bring you back. Hey, Stephen's only gone and got something that's not a white in. Black. What? Top boy, the Maddie man, gets himself a flounder. Well done, mate. It's only small. 
But it's better than what? It's a flounder. It's, it's, it's a lot better. It's a lot better. Oh, I ain't chill out. Jesus Christ. I don't want to think you just caught free Willy. Well, what did you call? <laughs> On that note. <laughs> Bolax. Bolax to Steve, the Maddie man. Steve, can I have some Maddies? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're all right, mate. You, you need them more than I do. I caught lots of flatfish last week without you. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I did, yeah. Oh, well. Well done, Steve. Well, that's all right. Look, there you go. It's better than a white, isn't it? It was worth coming fishing just for that little flounder. Just to say we had a few, uh, or had a flounder. Um, I'm happy, Dace. I'm happy with that. I'm happy for him. I really am. Guys, look at the swell. Look at this absolute idiot. Not only that, look up that beach. Not a person fishing. Look up that beach. Not a person fishing. You come into this one groin, this little area of the beach, and this utter bellend wants to come and, and, and swim. He's going to get wiped out. What is he doing? Oh, we're going to film him. We're going to watch you. We're going to watch. I should really be ringing the RNNI. What is he ever doing? All oh, this, the whole of Brighton he has got to get in the water. Go drive into Shoreham and go between the breakwaters where it's safe, where there's other people swimming this time of year. What is he ever doing? Yeah, he's coming back out. Oh, he's ducked his head. Look, 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 and that's him. I was going to say it's going to be cold because I'm going to go nick his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what the man's done is he's just risked his life for that. Absolute stupidity. I, I mean, listen, I know I'll do some silly things, but that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. What a pointless thing to do. Anyway, that is enough of that skinny man on my video. Anyway, bring you back. Another species for the Maddie man. Three one to me. Three one to you. So look, it's actually for a. Uh, for a slug, he's quite a long one. He's a long slug. He's a long slug. I don't mind catching Rocklin. That's a tank slug. Oh yeah, that is a, that is a <laughs> tank slug. Yeah, well done, Stephen. Thank you. Well done. He weren't going to do it if I ain't letting him get away with it. Oh, what's going to do it? You weren't going to do oh, it. Gonna... <laughs> you weren't. It's, uh, it's only the third time I've reeled in. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> I will sort that out of it. I've, I've caught white in. Steve's like a three year old because I've caught white in. Look, I'll keep his giggle. He can't help himself. See what I mean? It's just, it's just childish behaviour, really, Steve. Love you too. Yeah, love in a you bit. Too. You don't know I'm doing this bit. Right, Brighton today, guys. Hove is full of absolute nut jobs. You can't hear it, but this man here is singing to his phone. Um, in I don't know, I don't know, like Punjabi type type singing. Um, remember, who remembers Punjab MC? I'm sure it's called Punjab MC. Anyway, absolute nutter. Um, and this is the sort of end of the video. I've just caught another water in that I'm going to put back. We're now packing up because oh, it's low water. Fishing is crap. It's just, there's no point. We, we can be doing better things with our time. Um, so three white for me. Steve had, oh, I don't know, quite a few white in, a flounder and a little rocklin. Um, but I'm going to say it's the, end of the, it's the end of the video here. We are going to get back out tomorrow night. Um, local to us, probably the Isle of Grain. Um, and probably with James. So there'll be three of us and we're going to go and see if we can pick up. Pick up some bass, maybe flounders. Um, local-ish to us tomorrow night. Oh, I've got, well, I've got, I've only used 10 worms all day. Five casts I've had. I want to say all day, we've only been here four hours because that's how long we had for parking. Um, I could put more in the parking, but oh, I really don't want to waste any more money fishing here, if I'm honest. Conditions wasn't right. I said that at the beginning of the video. I knew it wasn't going to be a great day. There was always, obviously, a chance, but when the conditions aren't right and the tides aren't right, it's not worth going. So it sort of confirms things. Really, I know a lot of people can only fish when they get the time. And uh, that, that, that the, time, the time they get to fish, whether it be work commitments, family commitments, whatever, isn't always going to be in your favour. And people just have no choice but to go on the wrong tides, the wrong weather. 
But if you can pick and choose, it's always so much better. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow night. Welcome back, guys. Um, yeah. What's he got? It ain't. Oh, it... I thought it was a double shot then. Oh, I thought it was something else. What? Don't, what? Even, don't even say that. Yeah. Word, I swear to <laughs> me. That'll do for the first fish of the evening. Yeah, nice. And it's not tomorrow either. It's the same day, guys. We've literally just come straight here. Yeah. No. Oh, dorsal fin and all, look. There's a thumbnail. If I've ever seen one of me, it looks good enough. You need to turn your head talks off, though. Do I? Yep, lovely. My big sausage thing is ruining the photo. No, you need to smile, though. Because you look... <laughs> there we go. Yeah, sweet. Right, well, first one of the night. One nil, Stephen. Indeed it is. One nil. And on that note, I'll bring you back. I'll see you soon, mate. Steve's got one now. Huh? Didn't even see a bite on this. Well, I've got more weight than yeah, fish. Yeah, it's got more weight than fish. But look, what a, what a difference a venue makes. So yeah. we've left the south coast where you'd think the fishing is so much better. And then we're at the end of the Medway now, at the Isle of Grain. You can't see anything because it's dark. That's obviously Sheerness over there. And then them bright lights over there at the south end. Um, and yeah, we've been here, what? Oh, we've been here half hour, I suppose. Yeah. We, the first couple of casts, we didn't get a bite. My uncle's just come down to see me, which was nice to see him, because I ain't seen him in a while. I say my uncle, but he's more like my brother. He's actually my uncle, but he's yeah, he's more like my brother. Um, yeah, no, happy days. I'm happy with that. I've had a I've had a bass that was a bass that was worth catching. At the minutes, I would say Steve's wasn't quite worth catching, but you know how it goes. Hope Four species for the day. I suppose it is actually when you look at it like that. My phone's going to absolutely die in a minute because my screen keeps going green. I hope the video's not picking that up. Um, I've got to, I can send it off to the insurance company anyway and get my new one. Um, yeah, no, happy days. Happy days. Well, hopefully a couple more bass and we can go home and then we've made you guys a video um, and we've done what we set out to do today. We didn't get, didn't get nothing down on the south coast, but hopefully it'd be nice just to see a sizable one here. Really nice. Steve could possibly be into another fish here. He's got a big slack liner, but he's got a feeling it might be weed now. But I thought, well, may as well record for you guys. What's that on there? Oh, it's weed, isn't it? Yeah. That's even more embarrassing than Martin. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Look what, look what me and Steve have just caught. Look at that barrel. That's just drift, literally drifted in. Well, we didn't think it was going to be possible to get it because it was quite quite big and it wasn't with the way the waves are it wasn't coming up some, it wasn't coming up very nicely so it was like, oh do you know what instead of getting wet it's, it's a it's a rubbish thing to do but it's safer to just leave it but the banging against the rocks was annoying us even more so we managed to fish it out the thing is it'll end up back in the drink tomorrow when the local kids come down i'm sure but oh we've done our bit we've done our bit same as before I leave here, oh, I'm going to drag as much as this rubbish out of these cracks as I can because other anglers keep leaving crap behind. It's just not nice, is it? Steve's side's all right. I've just, it's just down my bloody side. Um, yeah, so far, not so bad. Or so far, a lot better than what we had earlier. That's for sure. And another little one. They all count. They're all better than white and dogfish. And they still give really, really good. I mean, you can see by the size of my Richmond sausage fingers. They still give a bloody good bite, these little fish. Nicely hooked through the bottom lip. Look, that'll come off and swim back lovely. Whee! Smashing it tonight, boys. There we go. Double shot in the bass. I mean, that one. That one is that one's dinner. Yeah. <laughs> it could be. It, I reckon it would try and have a go. Yeah, I reckon that bass would definitely try and eat a fish that big. Yeah, mate. Definitely. And the night, they're both so lightly hooked, it's great. See the way I handled that bass there, Steve? I did. You're well jealous. You, you handled it like a pro. Handled it like an idiot, it's stuck in the hand. <laughs> and then this one, I'm going to go for the old uh, thumb in the gob trick. Oh, yeah. Yep. Try not to get the hook in the mouth. Oh, look, he's done it. Look, look like a pro. Look, I mean, it just falls out. There we go. Let go of my luck. Here we have it. 
One bass. Didn't even see him. Out like a lot. Two bass. God. Happy dice. In a bit. Hold on, I've got it in between the legs. Please don't start recording yet. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> Please don't start recording yet. Steve handling bass. It's funny, isn't it? It's well funny. <laughs> well, I don't know a little one. That is probably it for the night, guys. That was our last cast. We could have, we could fish on for another hour, but this just this just yeah. pointless. We're wrapped up. Um, thank you all for watching again. Um, much appreciated. I, I might have one on my rod. Steve might have one on his other rod, but I'm not going to show you that because we've already seen them and all. Oh, we've gone a bit fuzzy. Hold on. Let's clean that camera. No, I've made it even worse. Oh wow, it's gone fuzzy. Well, I've got a dirty camera. Um, again, thank you for watching, guys. Much, much appreciated. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please, please do. I'm really sorry for this light and this blurry screen, but it, yeah, it's, it's, I can't clean it now. It's too late. Um, tough. It is what it tough. is. It is what it is. <laughs> um, we can see six of you now, Steve. That's a, that's a, that's a terrible thing. Um, yeah, it hasn't been the best days fishing, but we managed to recover it this evening and end up with a couple more fish, which was quite nice. Welcome to our world and what we've put ourselves through for you lot. Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> exactly that. Um, I wanted to make sure I got you guys a video this week, so we, we did. Um, what's next? I have no idea. Uh, I know what's next. What's next? Your boat fishing. Boat fishing? Yeah. When? Well, possibly next week with Kieran doing something, but that all depends on the weather. We're hoping to maybe get his boat out, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see what the weather's doing. Um, 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 what else? What else we got? What else we got? After week after that is Stephen's birthday, so we're going to try and do something for that, although the Saturday... My 30th. It's Steve's 30th, yeah, he wishes. <laughs> it's closer to his 50th. Um, yeah, the week after that, we're going to do something for Steve's birthday. We're not sure again because we've got to wait to see what the weather's doing. Whether we're gonna, we might even end up freshwater fishing. But um, yeah, I'll be work, I'll be working in a tackle shop on the Saturday, so I don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know. It's all up in the air at the moment. It's all um, in the hands of the weather gods. Yeah, let's hope we get some decent weather. We've got some northerlies coming in the uh, end of the weekend, I think. So hopefully we'll be able to get back on the place next week. But we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.